Gentlemen, welcome to our today's session. For those of you who have never seen this Mualimu before, my name is Dr. Joshua Aura. I teach at RCM Online College. And today we are looking at uh, quantitative analysis, specifically this topic called correlation analysis and a key way, which is your topic number four. So whenever they talk of core, core relation, core means what you shared there. Eh? They were the core. If you're passing through somewhere, and then you hear somebody talk about co-wife. Co-wife, it means that there is a husband being shared somewhere. So here, yeah, co-relation. It means basically that you've got say, two or more variables and you're trying to look at uh, the association between the variables. How are they associating? So basically, correlation analysis, we shall be looking at the strength of association between two variables. In this case here, two variables. How strongly are the two variables related? And of course, what is their direction of relationship? Is it, is it, is it positive or a negative relationship here? So two things there, we shall be answering the question. How strongly are two variables related? And what is the direction of the relationship? And there are two models of correlation analysis. There are two models of correlation analysis Number one, we have what we call the Spearman, the Spearman, the Spearman's rank correlation model. The Spearman, the Spearman's rank correlation model, rank correlation model. And then number two, we have in this case here the Carl Pearson's, the Carl Pearson's. The Carl Pearson's, Carl Pearson's correlation, correlation model. The Carl Pearson's correlation model. The Carl Pearson's correlation model. Remember that Spearman's rank model, the Spearman's rank model is used for qualitative factors. It is used for qualitative factors, qualitative factors. Those factors that you can't quantify, any factors that you can't quantify, we call them what here qualitative. And there are very, very many, many examples or variables that are qualitative in nature. You see, like, when you look at a company, when a company makes profits, profits, revenues, these are monetary. And the monetary you can count, you can say we have made this in terms of Kenya shillings. But how about things like, for example, employee motivation? Employee motivation, you can't quantify. You can't quantify. So that's a very good example of a qualitative what year factor. As I introduced this, the question that I would want to be doing here is uh, December 2023, question number 3B. December, December, December 2023, question number 3, boy. December 2023, question number 3, boy in quantitative analysis so you're saying ladies and gentlemen that um, spearman's rank model is used whenever you have qualitative factors those factors that you can't quantify a very good example is female beauty you can't go outside there as a husband and then you start, start saying that my wife is beautiful eight times no beauty is qualitative it's non-quantifiable it's non-quantifiable and then, of course, quantitative variables, this, this is the Carl Pearson's model here. So this one here will be used to ascertain the association between quantitative variables. Those variables whose values can be ascertained either by measuring, you measure them, or you count. If, for example, today I wanted to know how heavy I weigh, what is my weight? I'll simply go and uh, stand on some weighing machine. So I'll be able to, so the weight becomes a very good example of a quantitative variable because I can measure it. If I wanted in this case here to know, for example, how many students we have at RCM's classes, then I'll simply go to each of those classes I count. So quantitative variables are those variables that are measurable or countable, that are measurable or what year countable, that are measurable or countable. Please do me a favor. This is a great class. And if I would get, in this case, your good numbers attending, then I can assure you 
I will be able to give you great classes over lunchtime. So you must get out of your way to make these sessions popular. How do you do that? You simply go to your classes. The link that you use to join here is what you share there. Tell them the class has begun. And the moment that happens, then I'll also be able to, I mean, reiterate and make you guys happy by giving you guys many, many free classes. Many, many free classes. So December 2023, question number 3B. December 2023, question number 3B. We are told there, an insurance company has two claim assessors. Who must each give approval to customers who wish to lodge a claim for compensation? The manager currently has eight customers and has asked each assessor to independently rank. The moment I hear the word rank, then I'm going to use the Spearman's rank model. The Spearman's rank model. All right? To independently rank the customer claims in order of merit. The rankings are shown below. So we have our customers A to H, assessor 1's ranking, assessor 2's rankings there. So they want us to calculate the rank correlation coefficient of the two sets of rankings and comment on the results. And comment on the results. Comment on the results. So then this is what I'm going to do, ladies and gentlemen. December 2023. December 2023. December 2023. Question number 3B. December 2023. Question number 3, boy. So we have got two ranks there, rank one. We have rank two. Then we have got our customers A, B, C, D, E, F, G through H, like that. And I can see the ranks given to them by A. So A, or rather by R1, by Judge 1. So 462, 462, 158, 158, 158. Then we have 63. Then we have 63. And then we have rank 2. Rank 2, we have 481, 481. Then we have 374, 374. Then we have, ladies and gentlemen, 62, like that. 62. So that they have given that to me, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, as you revise, I would want to draw your attention to our revision kits. This revision kit that I'm using here are great. These are RCM's revision kits. They have CASNEB questions and answers. They go for a thousand Kenya shillings. They go for a thousand Kenya shillings. Should you be interested in making an inquiry on the same, on how this can be fed to wherever you are? We normally take this all over Kenya. Simply call us through this number, 0719-525-1000. All of you, you need this companion. It's called a revision companion. Revision companion. 0719-525-1000 is our number. Even if you are at Lodwa, we shall be able to know how this book will be able to reach your way. All right. So now that this examiner has given me the ranks, ladies and gentlemen, this is what I will do. I know my formula for getting, in this case, here, correlation coefficient. So the correlation coefficient, which is my R, will be equal to 1 minus 6 summation of d squared all over n cubed minus n. That's the formula we shall be using. So this one, remember that this one is very independent. The one here is very independent. I repeat, this formula for Spearman's rank, R, will be equal to 1 minus 6 summation of d squared all over n cubed minus n. So this one is very, very independent. Is a load. So first of all, you do this. Whatever answer you get, you take away from one. You take away that answer from one, from one. So remember, this D stands for differences between ranks. Differences between who? Between ranks, i.e. R1 minus R2. R1 minus R2. R1 minus R2. Rank one minus rank two. Rank one minus rank two, rank one minus rank two, rank one minus rank two. And this is what I would uh, directly do right away. I would want you guys to come and uh, create a column here, huh? or rather a row, where you capture for me d squared, d squared. So d squared. So basically you get the difference between if it's A, he has been given a rank by judge one and a rank by judge two. 
you get the difference between the two judges' ranks, and then you square, and then you square. So can you kindly help me do that? Like the first one here, it is rank one minus rank two. Whatever I get, I square. So then are you able to give me this answer, my good students? Are you able to give me the first answer squared? Somebody please talk to me. Talk to me. You must learn how to talk to this great CPA ninja. They call me a CPA ninja. They call me a CPA ninja because I know how to dissect these things pretty fast in a way that you can never fail. In a way that you can never fail. Uh-huh. So I'm getting, in this case, here differences, and then I just square directly. So I simply want to hear answers from you and to hear answers from you. D squared, D squared. I'm really, really waiting to see answers from you. Remember, you can type there in the charts, right? You simply type there in the charts. You simply type there in the charts. Mm -hmm. So if anybody knows the answer, I would want to hear it from you, for me to know whether we are together or not. I would want to hear it from you. So as they give me these answers, remember we are giving you this free of charge class from RCM College. RCM College invites all students in East Africa doing CPA to register with us. All right. We charge Kenya shillings 4,800 per paper. And once you get that Kenya shillings 4,800, you pay us the Kenya shillings 4,800, you get access to our Zoom live classes and videos. I mean, it's a very good deal. It's a very good deal. So remember, you are taking rank one minus rank two. So four minus four, you're getting zero. Zero squared will still give me what? Yeah, will give me zero like that. Will give me zero. Thank you, Christabel. I wish everybody would do what Christabel has done. So let we go to the second one. The second one is six minus eight. Six minus eight gives me minus two. But you square. When you square, you don't get minus four. Because I've seen students always saying minus two squared is minus four. No. Remember, this minus is part and the integral. It's the integral part of this. So you're supposed to put this in brackets. As in you open brackets here. So you say open brackets minus two squared. Then the second one, rank one minus rank two. When I square, I will get four there. I'll get four there. How about this C? Somebody, what would I get there, somebody? Give me one at a time, please. Please, I would really want to be teaching you guys, but if also you scratch my back, you scratch my back, I'll always be willing to teach you quite many classes. And how are you scratching my back? You simply give me answers. I would want to see whether we are really together. I would want to see whether we are really together. I would want to see whether we are really together. So Sarah is giving me one. Sarah is giving me one. Because she has taken here two minus one is one. One squared gives me what here? Gives me one. Gives me one. Gives me one. So let's get to the second one. D. Or D. Remember it is rank one minus rank two. Rank one minus rank two. Whatever answer I get, I square it. Whatever answer I get, I square it. I would really want to hear from you great students of mine. I would want to hear this D squared here from you great students of mine. Sa Sabrina is saying one. Check this. You see one minus three is minus two. Minus two squared will give me minus what? Yeah, no, no. It will give me four. It will give me four. You'll never get a negative answer. You'll never get a negative answer. So five minus seven, that gives me two. Two squared is four. Four. Eight minus four is four. Four squared is 16. 6 minus 6 is 0, 0 squared is 0, 3 minus 2 is 1, 1 squared is what here? 1 squared is 1. And then by the side here, you can come and the sum here. Look at the equation here. They want you to sum. They want you to give them the sum of d squared. So in this case, these d squares, please go ahead and sum all of them. Give me the answer here. Go ahead and sum all of them. Give me the answer. Thank you very much, Edward. Thank you very much, Sarah. Thank you very much, Sabrina for trying out. So I'm waiting to be told by yourselves what is the summation of this square. This stands for sigma. Sigma is sum. So this gives me 30. Somebody is telling me that this will be 30. Will be 30. 
and then come back to your formula. In my formula, very fast, ladies and gentlemen, I have to think about the denominator. The denominator wants me, first of all, to identify n. Who can give me n? n stands for number of participants. n stands for number of participants. n stands for number of participants. What are how many? If you count here, a. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight participants. N is eight. And you see in the denominator, they want N cubed minus N, which is eight cubed minus eight. So somebody get your calculator and try raising. Remember to raise this. It will be eight raised to, in your calculator, you see, raised to. It's written like this, raised to. You say eight raised to three, Whatever answer you get, you take away eight, and then you give me the final answer. You give me the final answer. You give me the final answer. So eight raised to power three. Whatever answer you get, you say minus eight. Minus eight. Minus eight. What figure are we getting here? What figure are we getting here? I can only see one answer from one student. You guys are great, but I want to get answers from you. I would want to get answers from you. I would want to get answers from you. I can see two ladies giving me 504, 504, 504. Eric has also been able to confirm this 504. That 8 cubed minus 8 is 504. Is 504. Is 504. Is 504. Is 504. The other 14 students haven't yet confirmed, but it's my hope that they are following. Are you guys following what I'm doing or am I too fast for you? Are you guys following? If you're following, please mention there, yes. Why for yes? Are you able to follow? Are you able to follow? Ah, then most of them are following, yes. Most of them are following. Thank you so much. So then come back here, come back here. So you're saying that our R, our R will be equal to one minus six times summation of D squared, I have it there. It is 30 all over 504, all over 504. Therefore, our R will be equal to what here, somebody? Our R will be equal to what? Using your calculator, now you press there 1 minus 6 times 30 divided by 504, divided by 504. What do we have there? In your calculator, just one figure. You don't have, you don't have to do them like separately. So long as you say 1 minus 6 times 30 divided by Five, without saying equals anywhere, don't say equals. Equals is at the end. You simply say 1 minus 6 times 30 divided by 504. You give me the final answer. You give me the final answer. So somebody is giving me 0 0.6429. 0 0.6429, which is the same as 64.29 percent. 64.29 percent. 64.29 62.49%. Is there somebody else who is able to confirm that this is this is correct? Anybody else who is able to confirm that this for sure is correct? Do we have anybody else who is able to confirm for sure that this is very, very correct? I only got one student there. I don't know if the other students are able to get this 0.6429. 0.6429. You simply say why for yes, if you've gotten it. If you've gotten it. Ah, uh, Eric has confirmed. Thank you so much. Then how do we interpret this? I told you that this will give us, this will give us what here? Direction. That first of all, judges one and the judge two. Judge one and the judge two. They have in this case here a positive relationship. You see, there is an implied positive. So there is a positive relationship between the ranks of judge one and the judge two. There is a, a positive relationship between the ranks of judge one and the judge two, meaning that they are in agreement. They're in agreement, all right? And then this relationship is strong. The relationship is strong. 64%, 64% means what here? Yeah, a strong relationship. Remember when it is over 75% relationship, we say very strong, very strong relationship, over 75%. Anything below 50%, we say weak, weak. So 50% to 75% are 
is simply strong. Just strong. It's strong. So, of course, if it was, for example, like 100%, if it was 100%, then whatever ranks that were given by Judge 1 would be the same ranks being given by, the, 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 there would be a total, a total agreement if it's 100%. But for now, we simply wanted to look at, ladies and gentlemen, this scenario where 64% falls between 50 and 75. So it's just a strong, positive relationship. It's a strong, positive relationship. Strong, positive relationship. So can I go to a different question, my good students? Of course, later on, I'll be able to do another question on the Spearman's rank model, where there are ties, where there are ties, we normally do some corrections. Where there are ties, we normally do some corrections. We normally do some corrections. So are we in agreement there? Can I go to something different? Uh, can I go to something different? The other option would be, the other option would be that uh, today, given that today is like our initial class, then we organize like a, uh, we meet tomorrow, tomorrow at the same time at 1 p.m. And then I'll be able to get you guys, you know, you will be really upbeat. So I can get to discuss, you know, this subject needs a lot of discussion, lots of what here talking between Mwalimu and the students. Perhaps today, most of you do not have calculators. It is. So then tomorrow, I'll be able to introduce other things like what we call kartosis, measures of skewness, you know, like what we call the Carl Pearson there. Eh? Coefficient of core relation. So we preserve that for tomorrow. But when you come to tomorrow's class, ensure that we are able to talk to each other. We are able in this case, I mean, when I ask for a figure, give me figures. That way then we shall be able to do what here to make great progress. So that we can get uh, in this case here, a pass round one for this paper. Otherwise, it has been a pleasure hosting all of you today. And I hope out of this class, if there are students who are uh, simply visitors here, you guys now are convicted. You have that conviction to join us. If you would want to join us, this is our number. This is our number. Our number is 0719-525,000. So if you'd want us to carry like a longer class tomorrow, your involvement with me is very, very important. Because you see, I don't have a calculator myself. I would be expecting figures from you. And they have to come from all of you if possible. So bye-bye. This is RCM College, and it is our hope that you have enjoyed this session. Otherwise, thank you very much, and bye. Bye. Bye.